Welcome friends. So today's pour is inspired by hydrogen, the element that's most abundant on earth. Um, so the opposite of astentine. And it really is the most important um, element um, in our universe because it really um, is what um, leads to life as we know it um, in this universe. Um, so to um, be more specific, um, I am taking my inspiration by an image of um, the representation of hydrogen from this book called um, The Elements, A Visual Exploration of Every Known Atom in the Universe. Um, and it's a book that I purchased as soon as I discovered chemistry. Um, and so I remember looking through it a lot um, when had no problem with my vision. Um, now, um, I like to look at it um, to reference um, uh, some like really simple things as well. And um, so the hydrogen is um, it's the lightest gas on Earth. Well, in, in our universe, well, our known universe. And um, <clears throat> if chemists can uh, put two um, atoms of, or two, um, yeah, two protons and two electrons that are um, hydrogen to make helium, and helium is our first noble gas um, that doesn't like to combine, but hydrogen itself loves to combine with it, mostly everything, which we love, like H2O, two hydrogens and one oxygen makes water, which we definitely need. And we're like 67% of our body is made of water. So super important. Um, and so um, this is the most abundant uh, element in our universe, uh, which is the direct opposite of astentine, which is an element that I covered um, uh, like recently. And, um, but this one, you know, I... Um, because it's the most important one, um, well, according to me, of course, um, I wanted to do it justice. And so this is kind of, you know, the idea is, it's not, not the dark part that you saw, but it's the lighter part on the outside. And it also shows um, how like the stars, um, when you see like the light of the stars, it's not hydrogen, but it's hydrogen becoming helium which uh, produces that burst of light um and yeah so that's what you see when you look at the stars um, so anyhow so yeah so this is kind of what we're going to go for we put a lot of colors in here um to try to get to sort of like a light you know almost like argon you know the light blue with with the tones of like pinkish or like really light violet um or more like lilac i think or lavender like a lavenderish a uh, color but more pink um yeah so that's kind of where we were going for this time um i do want it to look like um a gas so i want to see sort of like uh, movement in the in this piece and uh, yeah so i'm gonna have to try to tilt off that big part of purple on the corner um, which for me is kind of a chore because I love, um, this violet. Um, it's so pretty, but, um, yeah. So like I said, I'm looking for like the lighter bit, um, of, uh, the purple. And so you would ask, well, why did you put the darker purple? Um, and I put it in because I felt like it was going to blend with all the white that I put. So I put, um, a bunch of pearls in here. So I, the pearls, <clears throat> it's the regular um, pearl by Amsterdam, but then also I put in the pearl blue hue by um, Amsterdam. No, the, the regular pearl was from Deco Art, and then the um, pearl blue hue is from Amsterdam. Um, and yeah, so I put in... Um, color shift the the purplish color shift by um, folk art um, I put in amethyst by um, deco art this time uh, a lot of 24 karat gold my thalo blue of course I also put in um, a 
Electric Blue by Arteza, which is a pearl. And I also put in here, um, what is that, that blue from, from Amsterdam? It's, um, Primary Cyan. And like I said, a lot, a lot of white. And, uh, yeah, so, um, here I'm loving this piece on the corner, um, that has the, kind of turquoisey it blended into a turquoisey uh blue and um so i do want to keep that because it sort of reminds me of how um hydrogen can exist or most of the time exist together um like two hydrogens together um which can be explosive or whatever to take them apart um but um yeah so it says diatomic hydrogen um, is um, not rare. And then also um, also sort of um, evokes um, the idea of like a lot of chemists wanting to like put two hydrogen atoms together to make the helium, which um, is um, very abundant. And if you um, are able to buy this book, um, it's like I said, it's not super, um, hard to follow. It's, um, a simple way to get to know the elements in the universe. So this would be a perfect gift, I think. Um, and so if you read about it, then you'll, um, know that like, um, you know, they describe the sun being like super hot and like super hard to like, a super hard environment to be at and to survive and a lot of that is like the burning of the hydrogen and the um, releasing of the helium that kind of um, heats up or, or make, makes it such a type um, of tough environment to be in but this is not a chemistry or um, physics or nature or uh, lesson or anything so here um, like I said I love the corner because it does sort of um think makes me think about having two hydrogens together um and then if you were to just add uh, oxygen then you would have a water molecule so um yeah and we definitely need the water so um the more water the better um yeah and so like if you wanted to have a job for a long time that pays well and you'll have a job without a problem, um, you should think about, um, going into, um, water reclamation or like, um, yeah, anything to do with water because in the future water is going to be, um, more expensive than gold as we continue to use it up. Um, yeah, it's getting harder and harder to, 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 um, provide enough water for everyone on earth so yeah um anyhow um so let's take a look i think i'm pretty much done with um this piece now it's just a matter of covering uh my uh my edges and also um taking off the excess um uh, paint that's underneath and once again i do not um tape the back of my canvases because it's super hard for me to keep it straight um and so one my paint goes underneath the tape anyway because i don't do a good enough job and number two um because it's not super straight then uh, when i do get to tape it and it does the paint does stay on top um if it's not straight it still looks kind of crappy anyway and then number three, um, my uh, niece, um, Brandy, uh, was here um, for the uh, Thanksgiving holiday and we were pouring together. She was super kind. And she said, you know what, um, having, you know, the handprints in the back and stuff like that, it's give it something special, something extra, makes it obvious that, um, that you did it. So, yeah. So here's the, um, the, the wet results. So I like to kind of start in a corner so that way I can kind of 
figure where I'm at. Very cloudy, very beautiful. It has the deco art um, satin enamel with the pearl white and the liquid take basic um, titanium white as well. So yeah, so the white took over here. Um, and it's because I think I have a lot of metallics here. And so the white will rise to the top and cover these. But I think they're going to be beautiful. Now, this is my the remnants of the ring pour that I wanted to keep. And it's pretty awesome. Um, the What I love about these is that they look super 3D because of the... Of the shading that kind of happens and yeah it's super beautiful so like i said i'm hoping that this is going to dry how i imagine and it's going to be fantastic so now let's take you into the dry results of this hydrogen inspired uh, pour um, and uh, yeah i really do love it hope you like it as well thank you so much so this is the close-up of the hydrogen piece. Um, I like the movement in the middle. And I also like the fact that I left two centers where hydrogen likes to react a lot because it has one atom. But um, sometimes it reacts. It combines with itself and it becomes diatomic hydrogen so two atoms um, which can be pretty explosive but like i said um before hydrogen uh, because it's one atom loves to um, combine with all the um, elements right before a noble gas just loves to do that and usually it's a good thing And of course, you know, H2O, two hydrogens, one oxygen make water. So hydrogen is the base for life on Earth. And we keep looking for hydrogen and other planets being found to see if potentially there's, or there's potential for life. So what do you think? Uh, let's see, let me see if I can take you in for a closer look. Um, so you can kind of see the shimmer, the shine, and the 3D effects of this pour. It's so pretty. It's super windy here. I don't know if you can hear that. Or maybe that's traffic, like, far away. Yeah, I think that's more like one of those big trucks coming from um, the port of Palomas, which is a port of entry in southern New Mexico. Oh, look at this color. So nice. Sorry, lost my way there. So that, that's the second center, but the, the main center is up here. Right there, that's the center. That's the um, nucleus of the, this element. Hope you like it, I love it. Well, thank you so much for watching till the end, and I look forward to welcoming you in my next pour, which will be uh, one of the elements, forget which one. <laughs>